biggest principle for us is we just want to put our defenders where most balls are going to go. And um, sometimes it's team dependent, but um, we've got to be able to pull our tool balance and being able to get a tool uh, out of their belt from being in middle, middle. And, and uh, we can talk about this after I show another little video clip, but um, how do you answer this question? Cause we get it a lot. You probably get it a lot. Should I, the defender ask, well, shouldn't I move because the block isn't there or there's a hole in the block or there's only one blocker or the hitter's huge, right? How do you answer yeah. those types of questions? Yeah. We're, the last thing for us to go up because we do swing block is going to be the block. So sure, the block's not there till it is. Um, and it's going to be the very last thing that gets thrown across the net. So we're touching quite a few balls over 50% around uh, of the balls of our opponents are going to hit our block. So our, our defenders need to know that. Um, and we're working on that right now, being able to see the, what uh, maybe you can call the second line of attack. So the first line is off the hand. Uh, if it doesn't hit the block, then what you see is what you know and go dig the ball. But a lot of balls in our gym are going to hit our block in practice and, uh, and opponents. And so they've got to be able to dig that ball off the second line of attack, which is off the block. Um, so we're, we're not chasing holes. We're not guessing. We're uh, reacting to what we see and what we know and, and using the appropriate defensive skill to, to dig the ball up. Okay, I'm going to show a, 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 about a 75-second clip here from uh, GMS Plus. It's with Heather. We spent some time with Heather um, a couple years ago, and she taught us about her middle back box. And so let's watch this real quick from GMS Plus. From younger defenders that come into our program is a lot of movement, a lot of maybe chasing the ball around. And so we like to give them some visuals and – Put them in a little bit of a box when they first get here so they can understand what middle middle looks like and what two by two looks like and we'd like them just to be stopped and to see the setter and face where the attack's coming from so we want them to turn and face the hitter and then we want them to get a good read from there and so what they see is what they know and they can go react to what's actually happening instead of making guesses of where they think the ball is going to go or chasing holes we're not interested in chasing holes or filling in holes we want our defense to be set up around our swing block. We've got our defenders where most balls go, and then they're going to make good reads from there. They're allowed to make reads and make the best play they can on the ball possible. So we like the box. Our players like it, and they tend to be more calm and stopped throughout their careers when we're able to give them some visuals uh, in practice. So this is my box, and I got this box when I was a freshman, and it really helped me just to stay in one place, stay calm, and just take one step towards whatever hitter I was defending. And I found that giving me a visual really allowed me to learn how to stay put and wait for the ball and then react to it. Like Mary Lake, my players love the box. In fact, so much so that if there's a practice that I forget to put it up, they say, Dave, where's the box? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's it's just a good visual. Like I said, obviously, there's no box in a match. We get that. We know that. Um, but when you're teaching young players and obviously even collegiate athletes for us, uh, it's a good visual after practice, during practice. They sometimes don't even aren't aware of how much they're moving defensively. Um, and we we want to be stopped. We want to be balanced and we want to dig the ball. And so we've, we've got to know what our body's doing and feel it. Sometimes seeing it is, is the right way to go. Um, and then maybe you don't use the, the tape or the box for forever, but our kids like it. We like it. Uh, it allows us to give immediate feedback and uh, get them to just be stopped and be calm and balanced. One thing that Mike and I uh, are, are really going to spend a lot of time looking at over the next couple months is when is it appropriate to shift out of that middle, middle spot? You mentioned opponents, yeah. opponent tendencies, and how do you come to that conclusion? Yeah, I think when you figure out that's where most balls are going. So I think even for our team, you've seen a tendency over the past couple of years for us to rotate out of system. You'll see.